back to books and karhai. Today's recipe is cinnamon rolls and the ingredients which I am going to share will make 8 to 9 cinnamon rolls. So let us see the ingredients. For the dough I will be using 1 egg, 1 cup warm milk, 2 cups of flour or maida, 2 tablespoon white sugar, 3 tablespoon butter and 1 tablespoon dry yeast. For the filling, I have taken half cup brown sugar, one and half tablespoon cinnamon powder and two tablespoon butter. For the frosting, I have taken two tablespoon cream cheese. If you don't get cream cheese, uh, you can even use the Amul cheese spread like I have used. One tablespoon butter. 1 teaspoon vanilla essence and 2 tablespoon powdered sugar. So these are the ingredients which we need for cinnamon rolls. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to mix the milk and the egg. Give it a nice mix. As you can see, my milk and egg mix is ready. Next, I've taken a bigger bowl and I'm going to add this maida or the flour into it. Next, I'll be adding the yeast. Then white sugar and butter. I'm going to mix it nicely with a spatula or a spoon and at this point I'm going to add the milk and egg mix slowly and while you are putting the egg and milk mix don't forget to mix it properly with the flour and the other mix so As you can see, my dough is ready. It's nice and stretchy, you can see. Okay, so next I'm going to uh, grease a bowl and with the butter. Why I'm doing this is because I'm going to keep the dough in this bowl and I'll cover it for one hour. So butter, I'm using it so that it doesn't stick. So here, I, uh, just touch of butter over the dough also. Just like that. Now I'm going to cover it and let it rest for one hour so as you can see my dough is ready I have kept it for one hour and you can see it's become nice and soft so next I'm going to keep it on the table I'll be rolling it on the table because I need a bigger surface for rolling it so that is why I've cleaned the table and I'm, I will be rolling it. 
So I'm taking some flour and I'm going to spread it, sprinkle it on the table where I'm going to roll my dough. I'm going to place it here. In the meantime, I've taken the brown sugar and the cinnamon powder. I'm going to mix both of them. Just mix it nicely. is also done and keep it aside okay so I'm going to roll this now roll it into a thin roti like you know just spread it as much as you can As you can see, I have rolled the dough. Now, next, I'm going to you know, put some butter over it nicely. So, after putting the butter, I'm going to sprinkle the brown sugar and cinnamon mixture which we had made all over it just spread it nicely now after spreading the cinnamon and brown sugar i'm going to slowly roll it carefully so that the air bubble does not get trapped inside we don't want that to happen so as you can see I have rolled it. Now I am going to cut this into small pieces. First I will cut the edges and I will just keep it separately. Out here and slowly start cutting it. Next time to just rub some butter in this into my baking tin. Once it's done, I'm going to place the rolls one by one this way. So I've kept all the cinnamon rolls into the baking tin. Now I'm going to cover it. You, know, you can cover it with a towel or a cloth like this and let it rest for half an hour. Okay so it's been half an hour since I have I had covered the rolls. Now let us see. So you can see here the sugar has started melting and it has this risen in size. Now it's ready to be baked for we will bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to place this on the kadhai. And I'll cover it for half an hour, at least for half an hour or 25 minutes, I'm going to bake it. Uh, for the first 10 minutes, my flame will be at medium and, and for the later 15 minutes, I'll lower the flame. So let it bake for at least 10 minutes on high uh, medium flame and then we are going to lower the flame for 15 minutes again. Okay, while my uh, rolls are being baked, I'm going to prepare the frosting for the rolls. So 
I'm taking cream cheese, two tablespoon cream cheese, okay. And then to this, I'm adding butter. and a teaspoon of vanilla essence and powdered sugar and I'm going to mix them all together into a nice until I get a nice Cream. As you can see, my frosting is ready. Now I'm going to transfer it into a cone. And once my cinnamon rolls are ready, I'm going to garnish with this. So uh, my rolls are ready, and I have switched off the flame. Let us see. Wow, look at that. It's golden and nice. And I can smell the cinnamon. I'll just let it cool for some time and then we'll do the frosting. As you can see, my cinnamon rolls are ready. Half of the rolls I have transferred to a plate. And now I'm going to do the frosting. Simply and same over here also. That's it. So the frosting is done. It's ready to be eaten.